If you start to follow your bliss, those beliefs cannot stand the light of your excitement. They cannot stand the light of the purity of the connection you feel. When you're in excitement, when you're in resonance with yourself, when you're in joy, when you're in love, all those qualities, all those states of being become immediately accessible through no other means than following the only compass that you have here. So if you're following your intellect when it comes to your spiritual nature, then you're doing something wrong to yourself. You're doing yourself some harm. Which too is beautiful and too sometimes happens for many, many decades. So that the experience of it, the confidence that comes from moving away from that or changing the way you do things can be so profound that you'll never be full again. So even suffering and even doing yourself harm has a purpose and therefore is holistically positive. Everything serves the light, especially the dark. That being said, would you want to prolong it consciously if you're aware of this process? Would you want to prolong your state of seeking, of darkness, of depriving yourself of all the things you want? Because ironically, if you embody the things that I'm now speaking to, which may again not sound correct in some of your ears, if you embody that, it is my guarantee you will find what you are looking for through the self-deprivation path. But you'll find it through self-joy. And way quicker than through the self-deprivation path. So it has real meaning, it has real purpose. And it is something I think you should all listen to. Even though it sounds woo-woo. Or maybe not, maybe you like the fluffy stuff. But it's not fluffy stuff, that's my point. I have no means at this point to make it sound non-fluffy without it becoming a self-deprivational path, so I'll just make it sound fun and hope you can see through that. Everything vibrates, everything has frequencies. There is no world apart from consciousness. 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 No apart from consciousness. All that you see is simply a frequency of consciousness. The physical focus being one of the densest one of the most crystallized, but it is still a frequency of consciousness. It's not a world in and of itself. It does not exist apart from consciousness. Now, consciousness is not something that hangs around your brain. It's not something that's produced by your brain. So when I say the whole world is within consciousness, I don't mean the whole world exists within your brain. Although to a certain extent, from a physical perspective, even that is true. Because you're not ever perceiving objectively. You're only perceiving whatever neurons, whatever whatever electricity fires up in your brain. That's what you're perceiving. You're not perceiving a microtone. You're seeing color because of electricity in your brain. You're feeling sensations because of electricity in your brain. So even from a physical standpoint, the brain is a representation of what I'm speaking about from a more spiritual perspective. There is no world outside of consciousness. Where does that shift your allegiance to? Can you feel that shift when I keep repeating it? There is no world outside of consciousness. Does it not relax something? This projection of an outside world, even filled with teachers and teachings and spirituality, even that world does not exist outside of consciousness. There is no world apart from consciousness. All that's ever happening to you, for you, through you, by you, is that your consciousness is tuning into a particular level of consciousness. You're focusing yourself into a particular frequency of consciousness. That may be what you're hearing in the distance. <laughs> Which is actually quite soothing. For the purpose of this representation, it can be a low frequency. Which doesn't mean that being relaxed is low frequency. Or not seeing entities is low frequency or any of that. Low frequency simply means out of alignment. What feels out of alignment is low frequency. Does that make sense? What feels poisoning to your system is a signal that you're out of alignment with what makes sense to your being and what gets you to the things that your being truly desires in the quickest, most effortless, joyful way. Now again, make no mistake, you all desire. And thank God that doesn't stop because it's beautiful once you get the hang of what I'm saying. Anything influences your frequency, okay? So, or your, instead of frequency, you could say state of consciousness or state of being, frequency of consciousness, whatever resonates. It sounds the least woo, woo Or if you like woo, woo whatever sounds the most woo. <laughs> But if you really like, I really like root beer. Good root beer. Not all root beer, but good root beer. So sometimes, when I'm watching a movie or something, or I just, I'm at home, and I'm craving a root beer, 
There is such ecstasy there, like going through the bridge and getting that room here. <laughs> so in that instance, that experience of opening the room and drinking, oh, it's so good. That experience increases my state of being, okay? So every, what I'm saying is that everything around you in that sense, everything within the illusion of consciousness has an impact on the frequency of your mental, emotional, physical being. And even on your state of being. If you let it. I let it in those instances. I agree. Yes, this is beautiful. This is, I'm in love with this movie. <laughs> However, what increases your independence from what happens, what allows your frequency to become more and more independent from these things, is if you learn to deliberately focus your consciousness wherever you want to, whatever frequency you want to. Now this could be equated to what I've talked about when I use imagination. When you're using imagination, not just a daydream in a subconscious way, but in a very conscious, deliberate way, when you utilize imagination, for example, who of you would like to experience the state of doubtlessness? Hands please. Anybody? Doubtlessness? Imagine. Just close your eyes for now, if you're comfortable with that. Relax, take a few deep breaths for yourself. Relax your body, relax your thoughts. Just come into, in a sense, come into your body. Come into your sense of being present here. Your sense of I am. Now imagine, imagine a light being. Okay? What I mean by that in this imagination, imagine a being that has the shape of a human being, but all you see is light. Blue, whitish light, or whatever resonates for you. All that's emitting from them is light. Just imagine that you meet such a being. If it makes it more impactful, you can imagine you're on the moon or somewhere spacey. Doesn't matter. Have fun. The point being, imagine that this being, this perfect light being, approaches your vicinity. You see it in the distance walking on the surface of whatever planet you're on. And it's sort of floating toward you. Very peacefully. No disturbances whatsoever sensed in that being. It's 200 feet away. It's coming closer. And you're just marveling at what you're seeing. It's 100 feet away. The light is becoming brighter. It's becoming more intense. and You can feel it more. It's becoming more physical. As if the warm, the perfect warm of the sun is approaching you in humanoid form. 50 feet away, 10 feet away, 4 feet away. Now, his being is somewhat taller than yourself, say 7 feet, 6, 7 feet. And it's pure light. You can't even see facial features because it's just pure light. You can't see skin, muscles, none of that. You can see the outline of a humanoid form, but it's made up of pure light. Now what you sense from this being, imagine that you sense from this being, complete and utter doubtlessness. There is not a single doubt in this being's consciousness. In this sense, this being is an immediate extension of Source itself. It knows all there is to know. It has no seeking left whatsoever. It knows everything at all times, in all universes, in all times, all dimensions. It knows. It contains all of that. And yet what you experience is perfect peace. Complete and utter, shining, overwhelming doubtlessness. See how this light overtakes your body until all you can see is white. You're bathed in this whiteness of complete doubtlessness. Experience. What is that light's experience? What is that being's experience like? What would it be like to experience in this light that I'm being bathed in right now? Complete and utter doubtlessness. Imagine what that would feel like.